Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Bastion. This is Brian with Unknown Empire Gaming, and we are rebuilding the Bastion yet again after Zolf's little uh, breakdown. Stay absinthe is like drinking a cool breeze. Just don't go spitting needles everywhere. That's it. A few more shards like that, and we'll be back in business. A single shard can breathe new life into this place. a lot of the kid, but this is something he's done on his own. The shard's got enough juice to spruce up any of these places. Saying much, but that's the greatest forge in all the city. Tried to use the shards to stake out the wild. So much for that plan. Rothus Lagoon. Even the brushes stopped going there. Didn't like being eaten. Folks used to scare their children straight originated here. Brushes knew their way around the lagoon. These beasts, they don't like company.
Even the brushers learn to fear this place. They used to think that ankle gators were extinct. Oh! Well, they ain't. One of them's been living in the tall grass. They called her Queen Anne. Dangers, of course. Turns out Queen Anne got a hold of a shard. Ankle Gators love shiny things. Know what smells worse than an Ankle Gator's breath? A stink weed. Can't fight Queen Anne without the proper tools. can't resist. The brushers use their pikes to keep their distance around here. Now the kid can do the same. They say you can't hurt an ankle gator unless it's raining. And it ain't raining. Sharp sticks make Queen Anne nervous, so she backs off a bit. been living off the ankle gator scraps. Kids got a mean throwing arm. Queen Anne can't fit down some of these narrow paths. Some kind of twisted trap. One bad step in that tall grass and he's Queen Anne's lunch. He holds his ground. Seems the Queen's running out of options. Still no sign of the shard. Well, the brusher's way ain't really his style. The closer you get to an ankle gator's lair, the thicker the tall grass grows. Kid's got to make a run for it. Those leaping lunkheads don't like Queen Anne any better than the kid. They make a tasty snack.
scared a bunch of peckers out of hiding. Seems even stinkweeds know to stay away from the queen. sitting in plain view. They say if you run across an ankle gator, you better keep running. It's done what needed to be done. Queen Anne's reign is over. We even got a crown jewel. Still no mail. Go figure. That gator is a crazy gal, but so is the gal who promised to look after her. He ain't all that shy. They said Queen Anne was just a folk tale. Now there's living proof she ain't. All I 
trouble for a single shard, but you know what? It was worth it. We need an awful big lost and found under the circumstances. Careful touch to rattle those bones like that. You never guess those things been to the wilds and back. The next shard should be farther out there in the wilds. Over there is Camp Dauncey, where the brushers steal themselves for secret missions. To prepare for the wilds, Ceylonia's brushers practice at Camp Dauncey. Had to navigate a maze of pin cushions with nothing but a pike. It's a dangerous test for a dangerous job. limits at Camp Dauncey. They said they made you weak. Brushers were Ceylandia's field agents, and their training was harsh. You had to find a path through the maze as quick as you could. Play's throw could take out several of those ugly critters. <laughs> Oh. 
Well, where the fuck's the last one then? Ah, damn it. Alright, alright, alright. The brushes could modify their pikes however they wanted. Start of the course, they made you finish. There wasn't time to squash every pincushion, just the ones in the way. Yeah. <laughs> 
You can see why the brushers prize those pikes of theirs. Not really. The kind of shit. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Next time around, we will uh, check out for the other shards. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you then.